nanogas environmental has the distinct ability to take virtually any gas, oxygen, air, nitrogen, CO2, methane, and instill that into a nanobubble at very high concentrations for a variety of applications. Our bubbles are so small that the electron charge on it circles it, and so it's not in any one place anywhere, but it's uniform dispersal around that bubble. And that is where the magic is. You can change the physical characteristics of the water. You can change the biological characteristics in terms of how they operate with, let's say, bacteria. And you can change the chemical characteristics so they can have certain chemical reactions that can help clean things up. Typically, with wastewater uh, applications, you really have a, a challenge of raising the uh, dissolved oxygen in water because of the, the, the various bacteria that are in there. And so what nanobubbles do is they supercharge the water with the oxygen. Algae, which love to grow in these systems, are killed because they can't tolerate the higher levels of oxygen. The higher levels of oxygen enable the bacteria, which are in these ponds, to actually degrade the sludge and reduce the volume of the sludge so that you don't have to dredge the system every one or two years, which can cost millions of dollars. Let's look at oil and gas industry. For every gallon of oil that comes out of the ground in the U.S., roughly seven to eight gallons of contaminated water comes up. When you produce that much water, you have to do something with it. Well, the cheapest thing for them to do with it is dispose of it underground, and they've disposed of so much that's causing earthquakes. In many cases, it's got things like hydrogen sulfide. If you can add an electron to the hydrogen sulfide, you can convert that from hydrogen sulfide to water molecule. You've just made something toxic, non-toxic, just by using a little nanobubble. We know we can significantly increase the amount of oil that comes out of a well. That can be an existing well that's operating, can be an old well that's abandoned. That, by definition, is going to reduce the cost of making crude and materially increase the supply of crude oil. There are 22,000 abandoned wells in Oklahoma and Texas are emitting methane and they're bad. And you can get more oil out of them without obtrusive chemicals and fracking and the things that are worse for the environment. And that's a very big deal. Our focus is in three markets. Each one of them is at least a billion. This is a unique opportunity to do a whole lot of good in the world and make a whole lot of money.